Hey, I'm Suzanne Bowen with DIDX, and we're over here at IT Expo West in Los Angeles. You can see all the greenery back there and the traffic going down the street. And I just happened to run into Sheikh Bake from Call Tuba. Call Tuba. Tuba. And um, he's the president and CTO, an up and coming uh, young entrepreneur. And we're just discussing all kinds of things. Maybe he'd start off telling us a little bit about Call Tuba. Okay, um, um, thank you very much, Suzanne. Um, uh, Call Tuba is, uh, is a calling card business that we started, in, uh, a friend of mine and, and I uh, started in August 2009 after graduation from college. So we provide calling card businesses uh, in the form of actual calling cards and also pinless services. So we do business here in the U.S. and Canada and very soon we're going to be going to Europe. Mm -hmm. So um, actually in 13 months time we have about 8,000 customers already. Uh, throughout North America, and we plan to grow. That's even, fast growth. And even further. So, uh, yeah. so uh, you know, we, we plan on doing a lot of things and, 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 and switch things around, and not only calling cards, but more things and everything in the, in the telecom business. So we're, we're trying. And that's why you chose to go to IT Expo. There's a lot of information and ideas just swarming here in every room and in the hallways. so I think you chose, chose a good place to... It, it is. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm very honored and lucky enough to meet you, first of all. My, I'm, I'm your number one fan. I've been <laughs> following you and reading about you a lot, and um, I'm, I'm glad I came. And uh, I, I think the IT Expo is a, is a very resourceful place that uh, you find people in the industry who, are, who really know what they're doing. And, 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 and it's uh, very inspiring. So uh, I, I'm very happy and, and honored and glad to be here. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, to meet all these great people who are in the industry and uh, yeah. you know, learn from them. So I found you in the VIP hearing um, sessions where we were talking about E6, E164 opportunities, applications, new businesses, markets, niches, and ways of doing business for telecom, for customers and all. Um, so we were talking about DIDX and I always love to hear ideas for ways we can improve and you know if you want to share some praise too we like that but would you first start off by telling us what you wish like when you go to click and buy how you wish it would let you sort numbers for what you need to offer tell us what's missing there that we were talking about a moment ago I think um it, it's it's very well done, first of all. But but I think that, that some things are not really obvious if you don't really if you're doing it, you know, self service. Like for example, when you add fun, I, I didn't know that you add fun first and then you take that fun and add to talk time. I, I didn't know that until you know uh, one one uh, five. It know. wasn't clear. It wasn't very. Clear. How could we make that clear? What do we need to do? I just want your opinion. Do you have any ideas? I think if you could have like a little link of this, or you can add it to your FAQ, something uh -huh. like that. That that would be very helpful. Like at least yeah. so the customer know that if you you add fun first and then you add it to your talk time, because yeah. a lot of times the talk time was over, we were struggling, didn't know where to turn, turn it around, and you know our customers couldn't make calls. And they were upset with you. And they were upset, and we added funds and we know we added hundreds of dollars of funds oh. but we didn't know how to add the talk time so I yeah I'm, I'm, uh, fortunately I, I got to talk to uh, Shrai Khan uh, uh -huh. and then he helped me out but so that's not yeah. very obvious I think so I think what might might help would be not only the FAQ but if maybe right beside of where you click to add talk time or where you click to add funds that there's like a short video one yeah. minute yeah, yeah. 60 seconds that shows and says this situation that you're talking about so it'd be clear you know yes. that might help because yes. just a bunch of words it's in the way whereas a video you see it it's there in your mind so yeah. something like that yeah and so what do you like about DIDX why are you choosing to use it I love the quality that's uh, uh, like all their DIDs are very high quality DIDs with the right codecs and everything it, 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 it is very compatible and it works fine it, it's easy to use okay and they have a lot of channels and uh, very, almost any area you can think of in the U.S. and Canada and most countries too. So yeah. I, I love that about the IDX, and um, I love um, you know um, uh, for, you know because because we only uh, it take things from our customers like whatever we just follow them. What whatever. they need, they what drive they need. your business where it goes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So. They sell it. Oh, this number is good. It's better than because we, we buy the ideas from different companies. Different as well. companies, right? But 
not to throw flowers on the IDX. I think the IDX is the best in the industry so far. Because okay. really, the quality is, is, is top-notch quality. And mm -hmm. um, the only thing I would suggest okay. is, um, it's not even a complaint, it's a suggestion. I think sure. it's, uh, if you could uh, add more talk time or at least uh, the advance that you showed me, like the search, yeah. advanced search. I didn't know that, and I've been at the idea of customer for almost a year now. So uh, wow. maybe I, I was not very curious myself, but I, I think mm -hmm. if the more clarity, the better. More clarity. Yeah. And perhaps even we were speaking a moment ago about asking vendors to make both choices available, mm -hmm. to have it where you click by the number, by the minute, per minute from minute one, or click in the other area and you have unlimited minutes, but you buy channels, which is what you really need. Absolutely. It'd be nice if all numbers on DIDX were like that. And that's a matter we have to get the vendors to agree to. But we will bring that up. They will be watching this. Yes. We also talked about vendors. We need vendors who sell quality, legal Africa phone numbers. Absolutely. And um, because that's like millions of potential customers, revenue for that telecom provider, that wireless operator in Africa as well as great technopreneurs like you and Celex around the world who have customers who are mobile, traveling, tourists, students, all kinds of situations where they need a local number from back home. Absolutely, because uh, I, I'm from Africa, as, as I told you, and, and, I, and I know this because I'm in the community, and, a lot, cause, and I, there's a lot of African immigrants all over the world, right. in the US and Europe and everywhere. And, they call back home and their families call, like a lot of African students here and everywhere. So yeah. they always suggest to me, like, do you have African DIDs where we can do this and that? So I think, yeah. and I've been looking around, I really couldn't find any. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a huge market. It's actually is a virgin market. It's, it's a tap market but with a lot of potentials. Right. So I think any company that could come up with that will definitely do great things. No it doubt. It will help people, first of all, but mm -hmm. it will be a very beneficial Absolutely. And, you know, I think a problem that comes up with telecoms that are traditional telecoms, wireless operators and all, is thinking that selling numbers outside of their country to people outside of the country will take business away from them. But no, it actually is going to bring them more business via more jobs, um, keeping families close, that family, um, you know, it. And plus, the phone numbers are just sitting there anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. They're, they're not being sold, they're just sitting there. Why have any inventory that's not making them money? I, I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. I so it's a win for them and you and your customers. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Mm-hmm. You know, it's helpful, yeah. it, it, it's, it's a, a mutually beneficial for mm -hmm. all, all parties. So, uh, all right, yeah. and can people find you like on a blog or Facebook or anything like that? How can they? learn from you, get in touch with you to do business? Yes, we have a, a Facebook and a Twitter account. It's, uh, it's twitter.com slash Paul Tuba. Okay, Paul, and that like, is yes, it right there. Right here, C-A-L-L-T-O-U-B-A. -L -L okay. All right. It's the same with Facebook, facebook.com slash Paul Tuba. All right. And uh, we post uh, post things there. Um, and uh, we also have a, a website. We're building our corporate website in the mid, you know, but it's not done yet. But we have a... a nice. Uh, uh, point of sales website calltuba.com and and a couple more so okay. uh, if one people want to contact us they can just sounds uh, good yeah. all right and as I said we're in Los Angeles and enjoying IT Expo really appreciate it thank you very much Susanna appreciate thank it. you it's an honor meeting you all right, all right.